So since it's Art of Code Week, I wanted to share one of my favorite tools to use to create music. Um, it's called Ear Sketch, and there's going to be a link here. And then um, when you go there, it looks like this. So it looks a little busy, a little overwhelming, but I'm going to try to break it down for you. Um, and one way I'm going to do that is I'm going to give you some sample code. So you're just going to take this sample code here and copy it. And here you're going to click to create a new script and you're in Python. And I believe this is written in Python. Yep, you want to name Python. Great. I'll give it a name. I'll call it Kim's Test. Python. And I'm going to delete all this and paste in my new code. Okay, and as I like to do, I like to kind of look at the code and see if I can figure out what is happening. So um, this is importing a library. So with many programming languages, they kind of come with their plain vanilla commands that, you know, you need in every single language. But then people start adding more things to it. So that's when you get these things, these libraries that add, like here we have a library that adds some music, but there's all sorts of different libraries and you kind of have to know about them in order to get them in. And that maybe that initializes something, set tempo, that's pretty obvious. So that must be beats per minute. Um, okay, and then we have these things. These are variables. Now you can often tell a variable because it'll have an equals sign next to it. It's not like, um, math equals sign, it's an, an assignment. So I'm saying synth one, I'm going to assign this sound. And you're going to see over here, there's lots of different sounds you can assign thing to. So variable synth one, one sound, variable synth two, another sound, variable drums, another thing. All right. Now, fit media is a command. That's a command that you get because you imported ear sketch. And then it looks like we're calling on these variables. These numbers are the things that we'll have to learn a little bit more about. So I think I'm actually just going to play it so you can see what happens. So um, first you uh, have to run or compile the code. And if it works, fingers crossed, it'll show up here. All right, here we go. So this kind of shows us what these numbers mean. OK, so this first number one is what track you're in. Okay, so in track one, we're playing synth one from a measure one to two. Okay, and then we're skipping down to track two and adding that in. And then we're back at track one from three to four, and then down to two, and then down up back up to one. And then we also have the drum in here, which is uh, track four. So I'm missing a track three. I could definitely have a track three, um, and it's going to play there. So now we can play it and see what it's going to sound like. I don't know how you can't not dance along to that music. That's what I was doing. All right, so we have like an idea of what this does, but now we can um, mess around with some of the code. So the first and easiest thing to do is change out these sounds. And over here, you can filter sounds by artists, by genres, and by instruments. So I think I'm actually gonna try it by genre. And uh, here is, where did my, 8-bit. Yes, I'm going to go to 8-bit. And then with 8-bit, we have, uh, ooh, let's go with lead guitar. And then you can listen to the sound. See if you like it. Okay, so I like that sound. So if I want to replace my synth, I want to replace synth 2. I can just highlight it and then press that blue button, copy, and it replaced that sound. So now I have to run again. And then I can, hmm, no, that doesn't sound right. So I can always go back, right, Command-Z, get it back, and find something else. Ooh. 
<laughs> Maybe I need. <laughs> okay. Well, let's try the video game. Oh, okay. I like that. How about we replace techno loop with that? But let's say, in fact, I wanted to have another um, add that uh, measure track three, sorry, in. So I'm going to create another variable called drum two. I'll change this to drum one. You have to remember that's going to have to put some other stuff. And um, let me go to instruments now. Actually, I'm going to clear. I'm going to clear the genres. Go back to instruments. And do they have this? Oh my gosh, cowbell. Let's try cowbell. Okay, I'm just going to pick that one, paste that there. I might need a space here, so I'm going to add that. Okay, and then down here, um, I'm going to copy this, add a new one. Remember, I renamed that to one, and then this is two. And I don't think I want them right on top of each other, so I actually might stop. And I'm going to have that be three, and then I might have it start from four to seven. Who knows? Let's try that. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Um, so that's how I can add both another track. You just and you can add as many tracks as you want. You can also add um, measures. You can keep going out with the measures and um, adding variables. So that's really what I'd want you to start with. And once you are, find something you you know create something you really like, you are going to save it. And it's one of these. Which one was it? Your schedule has share. I don't know that. Oh, here it is. Um, so it's that second one down. Sorry about that. And click in here, and you're going to download. Um, if you download the script, then you'll be able to get that back again because um, you don't have to create an account here. But if you want to play it, you're going to download it as MP3. And while that's happening, I'm going to come back here because um, I don't have it here, but I'm going to link to more information about um, commands that you can use in your sketch in case you decide you want to um, try bringing in other things like loops and conditions and uh, other things that you're going to be learning in processing in other languages. And again, the concepts of computer science are very uh, similar. Um, it's the language, you know, the syntax, that kind of stuff changes, but the fundamental concepts are the same. All right, you can download it. Okay, and here it is. Let's just play it. <laughs> 